Buff Gaming here with a detailed review of handling sales and wind angles in Atlas. Before I go too deep, let me sum up this video in four words. Don't use handling sales. At least, not until the devs make some changes. They're just bad. Now, let's start by talking about wind angles and figure out why I would make such a recommendation. All three sail types can be turned up to 75 degrees to the left or to the right. Even though the sail turning graphic is circular, no sail can actually turn to face the rear, or even directly left or right. A more accurate, but far more crappy, sail turning graphic might look like this. If your sail is perfectly in line with the wind, you are going full speed. It doesn't matter if the wind is directly at 0 degrees, 45 degrees, or 75 degrees relative to your ship. You will go the same, full speed, if your sails are aligned with it. The more your sails are out of alignment with the wind, the slower you go. If the angle between your sail and the wind is less than 78 degrees, a speed sail is the fastest sail. If it's between about 78 and 100 degrees, the handling sail is faster. But if it's more than 100 degrees out of alignment with your sail, the speed sail is faster again. However, since you can turn your sails up to 75 degrees left or right, that means speed sails are the fastest sail in almost every direction. Aside from those two very small yellow arcs where handling sails outperform speed sails, there are two other areas where handling sails are better, although they aren't very impressive. Firstly, handling sails open much faster than speed or weight sails. A large handling sail can open fully in about 6 seconds, where speed and weight sails take about 14 and 18 seconds respectively. Secondly, Handling sails can reposition from negative 75 to 75 degrees more quickly as well. A full rotation for a handling sail takes a mere 3 seconds. Your poor crew toiling away at turning speed and weight sails, however, are going to have to spend an entire extra 1 second longer to achieve the same feat. And that's it. Otherwise, handling sails cost the same, weigh the same, and don't actually make your ship turn any faster either at a stop or full speed. Seriously, don't use them. They're crap. And just to cover my ass in the future, I made this video during version 15 of pre-release. Hopefully, the devs will do something soon to make these sales more desirable. Grape shot, if you're listening, there are a ton of ways you could fix this. My recommendation is that you reconsider your decision to give us 30% speed when we're traveling against the wind with red sails. Instead, let handling sails give us 40% speed against the wind and lower speed and weight sails to only 10%. It's an easy fix and actually gives players a reason to use handling sails. If you really want to make handling sails desirable, consider having them let our ships turn faster as well. That's your bottom line up front. If you want to see more and learn how I got these numbers, stick around for the rest of the details. Thanks for sticking around. I made a lot of claims at the beginning of this video, and I want you to understand how I came to these determinations. If you watched my previous video about speed sales, you probably already have a good idea of how I came to these conclusions. I performed a series of tests on a private server where I had admin control. I set up a track where I marked a starting point and a finishing line using claim barrels in the water. Then I used admin controls to set the wind speed and wind direction making sure to update it regularly so that the wind wouldn't shift away. The clips you're currently watching are of me testing the handling sails whenever you have the sail perfectly aligned with the wind. I started with the sails and the wind at 0 degrees, then 45 degrees, then 75 degrees. Each time, the ship traveled the course at the exact same speed. That's why I stated at the beginning of the video that so long as your sail is perfectly aligned with the wind, you will travel full speed. It doesn't matter if the actual boat is aligned or not. Of course, I also duplicated the exact same tests using speed sails. Between negative 75 and 75 degrees, speed sails show the exact same behavior, except, of course, they're speedier. Head to head at full speed, a speed sail is nearly 40% faster than a handling sail. But that's in the name. It's a speed sail. It's supposed to be faster. Surely, whenever the wind isn't between negative 75 and 75 degrees, the handling sail should start to catch up. 
Maybe not immediately at 80 degrees or 90 degrees for instance, but at some point the handling sail should outperform the speed sail. And that's what we're going to try to identify now. Knowing now that your sail angle doesn't affect your ship's speed, so long as it's aligned with the wind, I developed this hypothesis. The difference in your sail alignment and the wind direction determines how much force your sails provide. If this is true, that would mean, for instance, that if your sails were at zero degrees and the wind was at negative 60 degrees, that your ship would travel just as fast as if your sails were at negative 45 degrees and the wind was at negative 105 degrees. In both cases, the difference between your sail angle and the wind direction would be 60 degrees. So I tested it in the clips we're watching now, and my hypothesis proved true. It's not the direction of your ship or sail that determines your speed, but the angle between the wind direction and your sail direction. As the wind direction veers further from the angle of your sails, the icons for those sails slowly turn from green to red. Once the sails are red, they only provide about 30% of what they would provide in ideal conditions. Speed sails and weight sails don't turn completely red until the wind direction is more than 81 or 82 degrees off of your sail direction. Let's call it 81 and a half. Handling sails, on the other hand, have a wider range of effectiveness, and they don't turn red until the wind is about 100 or 101 degrees off of your sails. We'll call that 100 and a half. In this diagram, you can see the range of the handling sails in purple compared with the weight and the speed sails in blue. However, since the direction of your sails don't actually affect how fast you go, only the difference between the sail direction and the wind, the true range is more like this. This diagram is another way of looking at it, showing the range of effectiveness for speed sails and weight sails, compared with this diagram, which illustrates the handling sail effectiveness range. We know that when the wind direction and our sail direction are matched, that the speed sails are by far the fastest. And of course, whenever the wind direction is more than 81 degrees away from the sails, and less than 101 degrees, that the handling sails must be faster than the speed sails, since that's the area where handling sails are effective and speed sails are red. So there must be a point somewhere between those two angles where both speed sails and handling sails perform identically. And that's what I set out to find. It turns out that speed sails are so much faster than handling sails that it's not until they get to 78 degrees off of their sail angle, only a few degrees before they turn red, that they finally start performing the same as the handling sail. Once the wind is beyond 78 degrees off of your sails, then the handling sails do perform better, but only until they turn red. And then once the handling sail is red, it's actually a speed sail in the red that performs better again. And that's how I came up with this diagram, which I showed in the beginning of the video. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned that handling sails do actually outperform other sails when it comes to the amount of time it takes to open them and the amount of time it takes to turn them. However, neither of those abilities are significant enough or beneficial enough to offset the amount of speed you get instead by using a speed sail. One thing that really could allow a handling sail to be a good choice would be if it allowed your ship to turn faster. So I measured the ability of ships with handling sails or speed sails to turn, either at a full stop or at full speed. I found that at a full stop, they all turn at exactly the same speed, which makes sense. Then at full speed, I measured the time it takes to make a 90 degree, 180 degree, 360 degree, or a 720 degree turn using a speed sail or a handling sail. In every case, they were within one second of one another. So keeping all this in mind, I stick with my original recommendation of don't use handling sails. At least not until the devs do something about them. Speed sails are faster in almost every direction, even directly against the wind. As little sense as that makes. I hope this video was helpful for you. I know a lot of people were hoping that I would put out a weight sail video now, but I felt like the sooner I got the information out about the handling sail, the sooner that grape shot might actually do something and make them worthwhile. Click like if you like the video, and of course you can subscribe to make sure you see my future videos, such as the weight sale video I know most of you were hoping I would have out now. Comment and let me know how I'm doing. I read all of the comments you guys leave for me. And of course, you can dislike as well. But if you dislike, I'm going to buy 30 ramshackle sloops, sail them one by one to your marina, and just jam up the whole place. Thanks for watching Bottom Line up front, and I'll see you on the high seas.